and hi guys and welcome to my queer view today we are going to be discussing uh donald trump freaking out over jack smith sending him a target letter in the january 6th probe out of washington dc we are going to um have an article read to us uh from usa today um, as well as I'm going to play a little tiny, about a minute clip um, from um, Brian Tyler Cohen and um, Glenn Kirshner uh, with the legal breakdown, specifically um, Glenn Kirshner talking about um, his hope for um, the charges being brought. So um, let's get into it, guys. Let's go ahead and we'll hear um, from Glenn Kirshner first, and then we'll go into uh, reading uh, the January 6th target letter from um, the uh, USA Today. I'm really hopeful for is that. The Department of Justice, Special Counsel Jack Smith, took the January 6th committee up on their recommendation, up on their referral. They said, we have enough evidence to show Donald Trump incited an insurrection, and we are referring him to you, Department of Justice, executive branch, for a possible indictment for inciting an insurrection. The reason I think that's such a crucial charge to bring is that if you're convicted of being involved in an insurrection, then the federal statute says you can be prohibited from ever serving in office again in the future. Not so if all you did, now let me put a pin in all you did, if all you did was obstruct an official congressional proceeding, the certification of Joe Biden's win, that's a crime. It's a very serious crime, but the authorized punishment for that crime does not include prohibiting that person from serving in office in the future. So let's look at some of the other possible offenses, some of the fake elector offenses. If Donald Trump ends up being charged with those and being convicted of those, they are not going to carry with them a prohibition saying Donald Trump can't hold office in the future. So I am hopeful that Jack Smith brings one or more charges that carries the possible sentence of prohibiting Donald Trump from serving in office in the future. Donald Trump target in January 6th investigation, predicts arrest, and indictment in Jack Smith probe. Washington, Donald Trump confirmed Tuesday he is a target of a federal investigation into the insurrection of January 6, 2021, and could be indicted soon on charges related to efforts to overturn his loss of the 2020 election. In a written statement, Trump said special counsel Jack Smith sent a letter giving me a very short four days to report to the grand jury, which almost always means an arrest and indictment. The former president, a 2024 presidential candidate who has already been indicted twice this year, did not say whether he would appear before this grand jury. Trump did not detail what specific charges may be pending and said his attorneys spoke to him Sunday night about Smith's letter. Indictment this week or next. Attorneys familiar with these kinds of investigations said a target letter means that charges are imminent. Using the mar lago case as a guide, an indictment could come next week, said Brandon Van Grack, a former senior Justice Department lawyer and prosecutor who served as a lead prosecutor for special counsel Robert Mueller's. Investigation into Trump and the Russian government's efforts to interfere in the 2016 presidential election. Grack said an indictment could even come this week. It's totally possible, he said, depending on when the grand jury in the case meets to hear evidence and hand up charges to the judge in the case. But given all the moving parts, he said it's more likely it would be next week. Why is Trump being investigated? It is not known precisely what Trump could be charged with in a sprawling and complex investigation. The special counsel probe centers, in part, on whether Trump incited supporters to storm the U.S. Capitol on January 6, 2021, 
seeking to stop the Electoral College vote that made Joe Biden president. It also includes Trump's efforts to overturn Biden's wins in several states, and whether the then-president conspired with others to block certification of Biden's victory. Those states include Georgia, where Trump is the subject of a separate state investigation being conducted by Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis. What is a target letter? A target letter is a document that prosecutors send to people under investigation, inviting them to testify about their actions and warning them that they could be subject to arrest and indictment. Trump received a similar notice before his June 8 indictment in Florida on charges of obstruction of justice and mishandling classified documents. Smith also heads up that investigation. Trump has denounced all the investigations as politically motivated attempts to derail his 2024 campaign, and attacked Prosecutor Smith in personal terms. In his Tuesday statement, he called it a very sad and dark period for our nation. Trump's Town Hall in Iowa, DeSantis Reaction Trump is expected to provide more reaction in a Tuesday night town hall hosted by Fox News host Sean Hannity. The event is being held in Iowa, which begins the Republican nominating process with caucuses on January 15. Trump's opponents had little initial reaction to his latest target letter. Florida Gov. Ron DeSantis, his closest challenger in the polls, questioned why Trump was slow to react to the January 6 riot, but also criticized what he called the weaponization of law enforcement. I think it was shown how he was in the White House and didn't do anything while things were going on during the January 6 event, DeSantis told reporters during a campaign stop in South Carolina. He added, however, that to try to criminalize that, that's a different issue entirely. After his first two indictments, Trump actually rose in the polls among Republican voters, though independents are more critical of him. Republicans rally around Trump, Democratic reaction. As they have with Trump's past legal troubles, Republican lawmakers quickly flocked to the former president's defense, accusing the Department of Justice of having a double standard when it comes to treating Trump and Biden. We have yet again another example of Joe Biden's weaponized Department of Justice targeting his top political opponent, Donald Trump, Rep. Elise Stefanik, RN.Y, and chair of the House GOP conference said at a news conference Tuesday. This is a two-tiered system of justice that is fundamentally un-American. House Majority Leader Steve Scalise questioned the timing of the latest target letter. Isn't it interesting the same week we see President Biden's poll numbers continue to fall, the same week that President Trump's poll numbers continue to rise? Scalise said at a news conference. In addition to the federal classified documents case in Florida, Trump has been indicted by a New York state grand jury for hush money payments. Democrats, meanwhile, sat back and enjoyed it all. Rep. Pete Aguilar, D. California, chair of the House Democratic Caucus, said the target letter was not surprising. The now disbanded House Select Committee investigating the January 6, 2021, attack laid out the truth, Aguilar said at a news conference Tuesday. We're appreciative of the work of the Department of Justice and their focus on staying true to finding the facts and holding people accountable. Rep. Jamie Raskin, DMD who prosecuted the second House impeachment against Trump on charges he incited the Capitol riot on January 6, 2021, told reporters the target letter signaled there will be criminal accountability for everybody who committed crimes related to the attack. We're talking about a violent insurrection surrounding an inside attempted political coup, Raskin said. This is a matter of the utmost pressing urgency to the American people. Firmly in DOJ's sights. Former federal prosecutors familiar with these investigations said the target letter effectively serves as notification that Trump will be charged by the Department of Justice with criminal felonies. In a normal case, sending a target letter signifies someone is firmly in DOJ's sights. Sending a target letter to the former president is virtual confirmation Jack Smith intends. To charge him, said Joyce White Vance, the former U.S. attorney for the Northern District of Alabama. Glenn Kirshner a former senior federal prosecutor, told USA Today that this letter should be viewed through the lens of the DOJ definition of a target as found in the U.S. Attorney's Manual, the Federal Prosecutor's Procedural Bible. A target is a person, one, for whom prosecutors have substantial evidence linking them to the commission of a crime and two, a person that the prosecutors view as a putative defendant, he said. Translation, a person the prosecutors intend to indict. Very interesting stuff, guys. Um, 
you know, I think that we should um, be hoping um, and praying that Jack Smith does bring um, a charge of inciting an insurrection as was criminally referred from the House Committee. Um, or I was also looking through uh, different statutes and I believe um, giving aid and or comfort to um, an insurrection um, will also um, disqualify you from being able to hold um, government office. So we need to be hoping and praying that when the indictment comes out, one of the charges has to do with one of those two things, um, that it will disqualify uh, Trump if convicted from holding higher government office. That's really where we need to, to be um, putting our focus, um, not as uh, being political. I don't think that he can, can honestly win a general election, um, but the on the off chance that something happens um, and he he does get back into uh, the White House and into power, um, he will absolutely do everything that he possibly can to keep himself in power. Um, I would refer you guys to the um, New York Times uh, post from, I think it was either uh, yesterday, Tuesday, the 18th, or Monday, the 17th, talking about the uh, quote-unquote Project 2025, where Republicans are actively looking to um, to take um, a, a authority away from the judicial branch and the um, legislative branch and give it to the executive branch, which would be Donald Trump if he actually does win. Um, this is horrible. It's very scary times that we're living in. Uh, with the um, insane amount of um, right-wing extremism that is going on in our country. Um, I will be following this more um, when the indictment comes out. I will bring it to you guys like I did the last one, and we will read, th read through the entirety of the indictment. Um, thank you guys so much for um, checking this out. Uh, make sure that you do like and subscribe um, to the channel, and check me out on other social medias. Um, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Patreon, um, Cash App and Venmo, QR codes are right there on the screen. Uh, thank you guys, I really appreciate you. This is my queer view.